Hey, it's Andrea uh, from Andrea Goodset from Doing Business as Yourself. Uh, and I wanted to talk today a little bit about the difference between uh, someone who is, um, the difference between coaching somebody who is a projector versus somebody who is a generator. So I, um, I've done both. I've, and I've, I've, I've never coached a, or guided a reflector per se, but I have coached a manifester before also, and it was great. Um, so the difference though between generators and projectors as far as what they need you to show up for and as uh, are, are really quite different. It's interesting. So I, I came up with three quick things, and I'll, I'll probably continue to think about this because um, there is a there is the, there's just different requirements. So the first thing that I came up with is um, that consistency looks different between for a projector versus a generator. Consistency has always been typically. Oh, here comes my daughter. Has always been. Uh, you can come in. Oh, you can't come in. No, I can't. <laughs> um, consistency has always been sort of the bane of my existence in terms of being coached and directed by generators because their version of consistency is is every day you're doing something every day, practicing, practicing every day. And it's not that you can't do stuff every day. It's that you can't, as a projector, you can't um, expect that of yourself. It's fine if it turns out that way, but you can't always expect that of yourself because of number two. Number two is we need a ton more rest than generators do. This is Morgan. She is a generator, emotional generator. She goes from dawn till dusk practically on purpose, <laughs> out and about. She heads off to the college campus and she's gone from eight 15 in the morning until whatever time this is is early actually because it's still daylight sometimes it's not even daylight when she's coming back and it's because she really really enjoys the go 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 and then generators go home and they collapse and they pass out and they're good projectors on the other hand don't have the re regenerative um, sacral center to depend on and so consistency depends on being able to rest when we need to so sometimes um, you think you can push through something and it's really a mistake as a projector. So coaching generators, yeah, let's schedule, let's, let's put together something that you can get in a routine with. With projectors, it's a, it tends to be a lot about giving people permission to not be a generator is what it ends up being. So um, my husband is another example. He also, as soon as he's out the door, he's out until and going until 10 or 11 o'clock possibly and he comes back and he fills his face and he passes out and it's um doesn't he she's she's <laughs> nodding over here that's how dad is right yeah yeah and um and that's that's fine projectors can't afford to do that they have to when it's time to rest or before ideally it's time to rest they have to be encouraged to take downtime so that they'll be good for the uptime. If that makes any sense at all. I know it does if you're a projector. If you're a generator, I know it's hard to understand, but if projectors aren't taking care of their downtime, which is part of their uptime, if, it, if, that, if that does, well, Morgan's like, hmm. <laughs> so here's an example. If I go and I spend the day out, I have to include at least another day as recuperative time in order to have that first day function. So I need two day, one day out for me is actually two days worth of time. <laughs> I have to pencil it in. I have to allow that that's um, how I function. So again, coaching projectors is a lot about just giving them permission to look at how they, how they think about their, their energy spend. A little bit differently than normal people normal people <laughs> than generators which is 70% of the world so it is normal people typical people anyway the other thing that is different I find is that generators are 
can do a lot of the work themselves and often need to be hands-on with stuff. And projectors really tend to be more hands-on than they want to be, I mean, than they should be. So generators are ready to give the work away when they actually should be working and doing the doing so that they know what needs to be done. And projectors tend to do more de do it do it yourself and like they can't take the time to explain things to people or whatever. They'll they'll do it they'll do it. They'll do the work and it, they'll do it too often and they'll do it too frequently and they burn out. And they're the ones that really should be delegating sooner than later. So I hope that I hope that begins to unravel this difference between generators and projectors from a coaching perspective but also from a you know family life perspective too so you know that's what I got hope it helps and if you have any thoughts leave them down below I'd love to hear comments